Hey guys, and welcome to another The Legend of Zelda Diminished Cap Let's Play. I'm your host, Crazy Sonic, or Jonathan, and let's get to it. This is where we are. Uh, basically, Vati comes in and uh, breaks the Pickery Blade off of the chest. Link tries to block the little magic ball with um, his shield like this in front of Zelda and gets owned and gets knocked out. Uh, Vati figures out that Zelda has some kind of like weird power and he get and he decides to turn her to stone to make sure he she's out of her way. He's she's out of his way. We've woken up and into this room. Heavy music. Oh my god. Link, you're awake! Are you feeling alright? He's dead at my side. I think he's about to speak. So all you've heard, Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned into stone. We have to repair the sacred pick pickery blade that Vati has been shattered. Does anybody know the pickery? Pickery? You know those thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? That's really nice. Yes, the same. Oh, he agrees with them. Okay. But the Pickery are no mere legend. They must certainly exist. No one outside the royal family has, knows about them. The Pickery who forged the Sacred Blade live deep within Minish Wood. They should be able to repair the broken blade and re reforge the sword. Wait, what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No sol- No. Soldiers will not do it. Pickery do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers should not should could search for days and still find no sign of them. Exclamation. I see. But in that case, why not send Link? Okay, don't ask me. If Link has recovered, then yes. I would ask him to do it. Please, turn my Princess Zelda back to normal. Pickery should know how to create a new secret sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Pickery Blade. You accepted the broken Pickery Blade. This is the part of the sword that needs to be reforged. Do not lose it. You got the Smith Sword! It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Oh, so that's the religion. Very well. Send the soldiers to go look for body at once. Deep within the Minish Wood, you will find a place called Deep Wood Shrine. I'm not even gonna bother with the countless number of sexual jokes I can make. But let's continue. Once humans of Pickery shared that shrine as a meeting place, I think it would be the best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way there to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and LRR to open your map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck. You've got the map of Hyrule. Now, you'll never get lost. Check mark. That's where we have to go. And top of the middle is where we are. Let's get to it then. Counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay, thanks for the pressure. I'm just gonna roll. Enjoy the castle music. This roll is so much faster in this game. And we're happy. Our old castle guard. Doctor Rock! Oh fuck you! Yes! You got a heart. Your life energy has been slightly replenished. I'm gonna eat this Octo Rock. Oh my god! Haha! <laughs> Hungry glasses, fingers. Guys, in the future, I will post um a video showing you how I'm recording emulator and I'll 
how close the emulator I'm using. Uh, another one. You got one ruby! It's green! Don't spend it all in one place. Now guys, it's nice to be saying that every time I pick up a rupee and heart, don't worry. It's just like whenever you find uh, one of like uh, an item for the first time, that's kind of common. It will like say, oh my god, this is what it is, and you'll find a lot more of these. Yep. All my magic. Oh, screw Uh, five person orgy much? Die, die, die! Yes. Uh. Fuck you off the rock. God damn it. I need to have a heart gun. Come on. Guys, I just actually tried recording this episode. And, uh... They, like, fucked up somehow. I don't know. I don't know how. We recorded, like, the first ten seconds. But now I'm watching, like, a clock. I've got a little stopwatch. Okay, Minish Wood. Feel free to listen to this music. It's amazing. Oh my god, slime! Somebody please stop them. Owned by two Octoroks. I always love this scene. Can anybody hear me? Help. I'm a talking hat. Oh my god, Harkies. It's probably like the easiest one you can get. I'm happy. I'm gonna hold you with my own Harkies. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey kid, you there? I'm not a kid. Actually, I kinda am. Hey, don't just stand there, help me! Ow! What's wrong with you? Don't act like you're watching me. Take that abuse. Help me! I'm done. Well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle it myself, but. But that's besides the point. What in the world is a lonely child doing in the woods? Oh, I see. Piggy, you say. And Vadi? Vadi's cursed someone. What? Piggy, secret blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Vadi. I wonder what it is. And you say that reforging the sword, the sacred sword, can break the curse, huh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Elzo. It's a pleasure to make, make your acquaintance. Hey! Wait, wait up, I say. You walk too quick. Too quickly. You slow it down a little bit. Hey! Take a little look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Yeah. God damn it. If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy! What the fuck? Okay, go on my head. I make music. Awesomeness. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes, this is much better. Now, I suppose a little boy like you has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select, and I'll be happy to help. Such a hopeless little child. 
Back to the music. Hold on for a moment, my boy. I stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Oh yes, silly me. Let me to explain. You humans call them Pickery, but they, pre they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only in this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village, where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? This stump is a portal, used for people to change their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand it on it and press R. And when you're next to it, press R to regain size. Get up there, and we'll give it a try. I'm rushing through the dialogue a little bit, guys, because um, I'm starting to run out of time. I'm like 11 and a half minutes into this. I won't rush it too much. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I love that. I don't like the artwork around the mushrooms. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. Did you guys see how, like, Link's hair was, like, waving and everything? so cool. But there's one thing you must know. Being Minish size is very dangerous. Mere puddles and normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. <laughs> and as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If for your sake, then for my own. Pretty much. <laughs> His head is like rotating. Uh, my favorite aspect, going on leaves. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> Look at him, he's a little pixel. <laughs> pixel Link. Giant acorns. Giant leaves and giant twigs. Minish Village. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna stop it here, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!